He prays. I'm against you. And it looks like a lot of folks are turning against you, except for um, some very unsavory characters, praise. Hey, I thought you uh, came to an understanding with me the other night. Did you lie? Because I told you there are some legitimate threats. And now you're um, helping out. So I just want everybody to know. Praise is now perpetuating slander and false accusations against a pastor. Praise, do you go to church? No, you don't. So do you think that um, somebody such as yourself has any credibility? And, you know, um, I want you all to know. And I need to watch what I say here because there are a lot of us that actually don't respect the people, a lot of them, and the leadership of young earth creationism. And they've been shown to be scumbags. A lot of you folks don't realize that Hugh Ross was uh, the recipient of many, many slanderous statements, which actually caused uh, reasons to believe to grow tremendously. So thank you, Kent Hovind. Thank you, Ken Ham for all of the Christian character that we see that has caused um, really quite a, a slanderous situation for young earth creationism. So guys, um, this is actually what I'm going to do now because um, it's starting to get even weirder. So I'm going to have some of my friends put together uh, professions of young earth with professions of homosexuals can practice homosexuality and be Christians. And I'm going to show the connection to the type of vitriol and myopic um, focus without any consideration of the rest of the real world now. So keep it coming, praise. Uh, you know, I'm, I've got a lot of spare time right now. So uh, keep it coming, buddy. And I'd really, really, really stop because you have been handed over to Satan so that you will not blaspheme any longer for the saving of your soul. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just asking the Lord for that. And I'm sorry what's happening to your family. I really am. But you brought it on yourself. You've brought it on your family. And now a fresh call is out there to exonerate your dad. And I'm really, really, really sorry because um, I know how your sister's suffering, your mom and your dad is suffering. And, um, you know, it's not true. While well, the uh, frantic behavior and the spending of money to get addresses in order to quote unquote prove your dad's innocence. Why do you have to prove innocence? Kind of curious. Uh, that in and of itself uh, is injustice. Nobody should have to prove their innocence. Nobody should have to tell anybody where they've been because that's no longer freedom. If I have to tell people where I go, who I hang out with, where's my freedom? This is America. And um, you guys who claim to be Christians are actually part of the problem. And you all are destroying Western Christianity. So keep it up. You will be judged for this. I promise you. Because the Lord will not be mocked. A man will reap what he sows.